Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is hair series. If you want to know how I got this ash blonde color, then just keep on watching. So I'm starting with the Got To Be Glue hair freezer spray. And I'm just going to um, spray that on the lace. This is just going to keep the hairs in place. And it's just going to protect the lace. And now I am going to mix the bleach because I'm about to bleach the knots on the frontal. And you want to make this a really um, like thick paste. And I'm using 20 developer and then I'm using the BW powder. You want to get it really thick to where it's not like dripping. You want to make it like paste to where when you pick it up it doesn't move so that way it doesn't you don't want it to be runny because you don't want it to run through the lace you want it to just stick on the knots because that's what you're trying to do you're trying to bleach the knots so that's why you don't want your bleach to be that powder is very strong <laughs> the bleach is very strong see you want it to be really thick like that. You see how it doesn't move? So now that I have the right consistency, I'm going to now start to spread the bleach on top of the frontal. And I'm just layering it like a smooth layer so I can begin to bleach the knots. And I got the mixing bowl from Sally. I got this brush that I'm using from Sally. You can get the developer from like the beauty supply. I'm sure the beauty supply has like beauty supply has all this stuff as well. And I am just going to bleach the knots. Usually I bleach the knots for about like uh, like 10, 15 minutes. I just check on it to see. How they're coming along and the reason why I like that I bleached the knots is because the wig came black like the roots were black and it really lifted up the color and it made the roots look very natural and it made it blend in with this color very well instead of the roots being black I liked how they were like brown it really just moved the color really good and it made it look super natural so I really like bleaching the knots that's the reason why I bleach the knots because it's a 613 wig so I mean the knots don't necessarily have to be bleached but I wanted my knots to be bleached just because I'm a perfectionist and I wanted the roots to lift and not to be black I wanted them to be like brown like how they are going to turn out I'm really excited for hair series. Like I, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on hair. I have so much planned for hair series. And yes, this is how it's going to look at the end. And I let it sit for, like I said, like 10 to 15 minutes and just check on it. And now I'm just rinsing out that bleach. So yes, I have so much planned for hair series and just for my channel happy 2020 this is my second video of 2020 and i'm just trying to <laughs> keep it going that's one of my goals for 2020 is to just keep um edit on youtube i know i took a little break but i'm just trying to get back in the habit of youtube for this year let me know some of y'all's goals for 2020 like what's the, one of like your biggest goals for 2020 i want everybody to have a good positive year and just really go for what you're trying to accomplish this year and let's start the decade off right and now i'm taking the purple shampoo the purple shampoo is a toner 
So what I'm doing is just toning out the orange brassiness that bleach can leave behind. And I also toned the hair. I'm, purple shampoo is going to cancel out that yellow brassiness. So this is 613 hair. So this purple shampoo is just going to cancel out some of that yellow that's in this wig for when I dry it. And you also have to work fast with the purple shampoo because if you don't, your hair will turn purple. So you really want to work fast, really work it in and wash it out. Don't let it sit, don't let it stain anything unless you want like purple hair, silver hair. So I was really trying to move fast. And I used gloves because I had just got my nails done, sis, and I was about to mess it up mess them up so I use gloves just because I don't like I don't want anything to get on my nails and my hands but yes I really love this shimmer lights purple shampoo I love this shampoo I always use it with my frontals when I'm trying to cancel out any of the brassiness I always really rub in the purple shampoo into the frontal massage it really good and yes this shampoo works wonders Go pop it. Go get it, sis. What you waiting on? And here I'm just rinsing it out. And then you're gonna see it's gonna look really, it's even gonna look cute after I rinse it out. This is what it looks like. Rinse out. You see it's not as yellow. Also, the purple shampoo is really going to give you those highlights and lowlights. That way your hair is not all one solid color. It has like the highlights in it. I like my hair like that to where it's not all one solid color and it's definitely just like standing out. I'm using a box dye Revlon and medium ash blonde and I am just working that into the hair. For the frontal part because I really want this part to be really colored really well, I'm taking my rat tail comb and I'm just combing through the hair once I put the color on there. And I'm really making sure that I work it in, comb it, and really make sure that I'm getting all the strands of the hair. Platinum 613 hair is really tedious to color because you have to get every strand. And it's a lot of blonde strands. And with blonde, you have to really make sure that you get all of it, all of the hair, every strand. So that's just what I'm trying to do, and I'm really working it in the hair combing through and it's really the same process over and over and just Revlon and Revlon box dye is super affordable it's only like three dollars like you gotta go get it like Revlon box dye is the go and I love how the colors turn out and they're super affordable you can find Revlon at Walmart, Target Look at them braids though. Ain't nothing like a fresh pair of Meek Mill braids for your wig. Like, yes, I'm giving the girls gel bird. I use three box dyes of the medium ash blonde the first time that I colored it in total. And you can get about four of those to be on the safe side because or maybe I'm just like not that good at coloring I don't know but I realized that I didn't even get every strand like once I washed it out I didn't even get every strand so coloring 613 hair is like a real job they're so rude I live downtown and people drive nuts on the street 
So, y'all are going to be hearing a lot of crazy things going on outside, unfortunately, because they're so rude. But anyways, so about like four of these box dies to be on the safe side, at least for the medium ash blonde because it's really a job to color 613 here. And also if you want to see a tutorial on that makeup look that was in my intro, that will be that soft glam tutorial will be on my channel next week. So be on the lookout for that. And yeah, 2020 we coming with the content. Everybody, I would encourage everybody to get a planner and this year I got a planner and a goal book so like my goal book is really where I just write down all of my goals like personal goals career goals like spiritual goals um, just everything and then my planner is of course you know to plan out everything but this is how it looked when I was done coding everything and I let that sit for a while probably like 30 minutes or so and then I washed it out but this is how it looks everything coded everything sitting and I honestly did not like how it turned out it was too gray it was more like a gray silver and I didn't really want like because it's different types of ash blondes you have like the icy ash blonde the gray ash blonde I wanted more of the golden ash blonde so here I'm using the Garnier Fructis shampoo this stuff smells amazing it smells so good i love this shampoo for my weaves for my wigs y'all should definitely try it out and garnier Fructis is really affordable as well i love that shampoo but um i didn't like how the see how it's still some 613 in there but i didn't like how it was that great ash blonde so you're gonna see me in the next clip adding a different dye on top of it I was in a rush when I was coloring this hair. I had somewhere to be. This was like right before Thanksgiving and I had to go out. So I didn't get to film how it looked blow dried out. But you can already see, even though ash blonde hair already looks gray when it's wet, but it just wasn't what I was going for. It was, I, if, you really, if you want like that ashy, like, silver like gray ashy gray hair then this would be perfect you can leave it at this but i wanted more of like a blondie ash gray like a like more of a yeah like a blonde ash gray <laughs> ash gray i mean not ash gray just a blonde ash brown it's ash gray and then it's ash brown. I wanted mine to be ash brown, not ash gray. And when I put just this on here, it turned it into an ash gray. But I'm really just really getting that shampoo in there really good. And I'm going to give you guys a hair review on this hair. I'm not going to mention it in this video because I am going to do a whole video dedicated to a hair review. And it's really some tea. Like, it's tea. So, y'all definitely subscribe to my channel. And that video will be coming really soon because it's tea, sis. Like, you're going to need your biggest tea cup for this hair review that I'm gonna give y'all period poo so then here I am a rush I'm using the color I went to, I ended up having to like go to Walmart and get try to fix the hair of how I wanted it coloring for me is always something crazy it's always something so I went to Walmart and I picked up champagne champagne blonde from Revlon and I think I got I can't remember I maybe I got one or two boxes 
I think probably two boxes to be on the safe side. And I just recollected here. So I just went over what I had already colored. And I'm just doing the same method, working it in, combing it through, putting it on the hair, same method. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like wet. I don't know why once it was done. I had just co-washed it after. This is actually like day. The next clip is actually like <laughs> weeks later, month, like probably like a month and a half later. So I don't know how it got so I just co-washed it. I didn't use shampoo. I used another Garnier Fructis conditioner. I don't know how it was looking so wavy like that. I guess maybe because I just co-washed it. I don't know. But the color came out really cute. And everybody, I just want you to subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you're going to be working ash blonde. This is the perfect color. So this is how it turned out once I put that champagne blonde really bomb color i honestly and truly love this color it was so perfect it was exactly what i wanted and yeah it was just a bomb as fuck and it's about to be springtime we're about to pop out with the colors blonde is such a spring color we're about to have fun it's about to get warmer so this is about to be so cute on you girl so go ahead and let me know what you think of this tutorial let me know what color y'all want to see me do next like we're gonna do a whole series on color because i love changing my hair colors so let me know what color in the comments you want to see me do next and tag me follow me on instagram lemonade jade and yeah, if you try this color out and let me see how y'all's hair is turning out and stay tuned for the tutorial on the makeup and stay to tune stay tuned for the tutorial on I mean not the tutorial, the hair review girl. Stay tuned on the hair review that I'm going to be giving you guys on this hair. And make sure you bring your biggest teacup, put on your tea hat and this hair review is coming so yeah subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video i hope this video was helpful to you and let's pop out pop your shit with this color and yeah. see y'all in my next one subscribe like share follow me on instagram Bye. Oh, and baby girl, don't come for my weekend, okay? I'm going to upgrade her soon. She's been through a lot. We've been through a lot of color jobs, and I know she's looking a little crazy, but don't come for her. Don't play with her. And, yeah, I'm just going to shut up now and let you guys finish watching this tutorial because everything else is pretty pretty self-explanatory just me blow drying the hair and the final blow dried out color job look if you want to see more looks or more pictures of me with this hair definitely follow me on instagram and yeah this is just how the hair turned out and let me see if you guys are going to try this color out i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you subscribe like this video leave me some comments and i will see you guys in my next video bye